What's up, guys? My name is Cod, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic Co-op Survival. What do we have here? Uh, the boat has changed a little bit, sir. The boat sir. has changed. Well, it certainly didn't change by itself. No, I, uh, I might have, I might have, did some I might have changed it. Yeah, yep. I might have, I might have done. But we avoided making a paddle boat. Yeah, no paddle boat. Uh, nope. it's actually funny. We did a multiplayer Monday with tugboats, yep. and we only were allowed two thrusters in that, and our tugboats were super fast. And I was like, what the <laughs> heck? Like, how can right. we not do this? Now, mind you, we didn't need fuel containers, and we didn't need storage chests, so that's a big thing. No, no, but... So, I've changed this. It's now Tier 3 wood, which a lot of people in the comments said, which is a very good thing to do. Tier 3 wood, very high buoyancy compared to the regular wood. Which is interesting, because it's metal-infused, so it makes no sense. Right, you'd think it'd be heavier, <laughs> but it's actually lighter for some... There's air pockets, that's why. There's air pockets, right? Right, okay, yeah. Um, and then some <laughs> bubble block underneath as well, the same kind of deal, uh, same deal, some grid pattern, stuff like that. But it's also, as you can see, very thin. We float very low in the water. It right. sometimes is a, like a little bit below the surface. And the thrusters are tipped up just a little bit, five degrees, to help give us some push. So it really just hauls nice. now. Yeah, we Much just... quicker. It's like a sea dew. We've gone from a cigarette boat to a sea dew. Yeah, this thing is pretty... It's almost kind of like a bass boat, though, with how low it is. And, you know, you're going to probably wonder, well, why there are two driving seats. And uh, it's just because, <laughs> you can, yeah, you can feel special <laughs> when you're driving. driving. <laughs> now, I tried I tried doing it with a single passenger seat and co some concrete to balance out the weight of the driver's seat. And I couldn't yeah. get it straight. So The weight distribution just doesn't work out. Yeah, so. when you give it throttle, it would actually kind of, like, pull to the one side versus the other. Yep. So now we can actually haul. And act it's crazy how fast this is. Like, it's unbelievably it's so fast. Quick. And uh, we don't burn nearly as much fuel as the other That's one right. did. Much lighter, so much more efficient as a result. Yeah. So in this episode, what we want to do is want to bring the boat uh, from here across this land bridge to the ocean. Now, one, pro rail time. one well, problem is uh, rail time. when I built this boat, uh -huh. I didn't realize it's actually powerful enough to just... Um, but look how much fuel you wasted there. See, that's why we need a lock system. Yeah, no, I agree. This wastes a lot of fuel. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. this is kind of this is kind of ridiculous. And now it's like, oh, it's basically. just as fast on land as it is in this water. It's gonna be one of those episodes where the comments are gonna be like, "Why'd you do that? This is pointless. It's a useless creation." Well, anyway, so now we're in the ocean and we could keep going. And there were a lot of people too who said just put wheels on your boat and have it like come out and go across. Which if we put wheels on this, it would be like wheels the fastest. Wheels on the boat go round and round. Yeah, I mean it would be the fastest land vehicle ah. of all time if we put wheels on this. Right. Um, but to be honest, I do want to build a lock system because I think number one, there's a sort of a can we can we do something about this cow? Honestly, right? He just keeps like <laughs> bro. Out of here. Oh, a well tool's not gonna do anything. That's for sure. No. Um, but anyway, yeah, we want to build the lock system because it'll be a little bit more realistic and just like you said It won't waste any fuel. It'll be it'll be you know fuel free because this look oh. It's very slow to get going on the terrain and now we're out of oh. gas and half them. <laughs> Right wow, so we're all ready boat with no fuel. Yeah, one thing I'm realizing we didn't think of is look at uh -huh. the height the height difference Yeah, I was just thinking we got to look that. for the flattest spot. I think where it's um, got the least elevation because that's the least height we have to go up, right? So, Fair enough. Uh, here, let's uh, guess throw the boat back in the water. I don't. And then what? And then and what? Then we what? have like no gas. Is there any oh, gas? Man. There's two gas, literally two. Let's go, man. Let's go. We're going. We're going home. We'll make it. We won't. We won't we'll make, make it home, man. Okay, good. So now that we've the had adventures this, of does this help? Finn and <laughs> here we go. Oh my goodness, actually. All right, get on the back, get on the back. Come on, come on, I'm hammer gonna... power, hammer power. Oh, Let's do this. Boy. All right. Let's do this. Look at this, we're hauling, man. Yeah, you, you, you go fall? more, there we go. <laughs> you gotta paddle slower, man. You gotta look, turn look right. This. this is like a canoe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, totally, this is totally how you use a canoe. This is how canoes worked before they invented paddles. You smack the hull yeah, <laughs> with, with a, a hammer. hammer. <laughs> yeah, and let's... hope you don't puncture through. Come here a lot. <laughs> oh no, we're sinking the back end. We're sinking. This is one of the problems. So this is one of the problems with the boat with the way scrap mechanic physics work. There we go. Um, because the boat's so thin and so like small, if you sink the back end enough, it, it doesn't seem to want to get back out. It still floats, but it floats at this angle. But that's so why- So basically with... Con built a brick. Oh look, look, see, now it's fixed. And now it's unfixed. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, the thrusters, they're uh, they're tilted up slightly. It fixes this problem, no issue. 
But yeah, it's a very thin boat because the one thing that everyone said in the comments, which I agree with, is the more weight your thrusters have to push, the more fuel it's going to take, right? right? So if you make the boat as light as possible, which means you have as minimum blocks as you need to make it float, which is basically what that is, then, yep. you know, maximum results. Yeah, that's way faster, and I think it's going to be way better at exploring instead of just putting along. Yeah, I mean, the problem is we lose two chests. Obviously, we only have two chests instead of four. That's okay. That's but okay. but at it's least like you were we saying, can... right? Once the fuel depletes, we can yeah, put we... more junk in there. Exactly. And I think we'll be able to, once we build this lock system, go explore around the entire map with only one, like, fuel tank. I think we'll That'd actually be nice. do that. That'd be nice. We also need to make a dock for it because... Storing stuff in the, which we're not doing right now, but we need to make a dock where we can park the boat that brings it out of the water because anything in scrap mechanic that's stored in the water calculates physics like constantly. It's terrible. Right. But yeah, as soon as you sure. pull it out of the water, it's fine. Like the other day, I loaded into the world to get a thumbnail and your truck was at the bottom of the ocean or the bottom of the lake <laughs> and the game was like down 30 frames just because of that. Crazy. You know what I mean? Well, we should build a similar like a. Uh... I guess you already said it, like a dry dock system, basically. Yeah, that lifts something, it. something to lift the boat out. Yeah, lifts it out of the water, we quickly weld it up, and call it a day. Yeah, and then we also need to make a parking platform, because once again, comments raging that we have welded pillars <laughs> for all our vehicles. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's how it's done, guys. That's how Which is stupid, played. though, because if we make a platform, a parking platform, we're still going to weld them up on pillars so they don't calculate oh, yeah. physics. Oh, yeah, 100%. Like, it's like... not like that changes. You can't just leave them parked on the concrete. It'll still be it's laggy gonna make and it terrible. It's going to anything, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go scout at night and not show the viewers because that's what Cosmo well, wants us to do. you can show it. You nope. can show it. I'm nope. not saying... You said you can't show viewers. The viewers. That's, that's what you said. You said we can't show... No, you show. just made it seem like a big deal, and I told you it's not a big deal. It's not, see, <laughs> see, it's... You know what? I don't even know why I'm showing the video. I should just black out my screen for the rest of the episode and let people yep. listen. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, yeah. it'll be a podcast now. This is a co-op... This is a co-op podcast. podcast. Yeah, no screen anymore. <laughs> just podcast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Did you see that red bot I just killed with my bare hands? Yeah, man. It was crazy. Here, let me make the sound effects so you can tell that I'm clearly hitting <laughs> I was gonna him. I you're going to have to visually describe it to me. Yeah. So. The red guy approaches from the left. <laughs> Khan currently is pooping his pants. <laughs> and while eating a burger. The smell <laughs> is making Cosmo nauseous. <laughs> Isn't that how descriptive video works? All right, Cosmo, it's daytime. Oh, man, I'm so sleepy. How's it going? I, I scouted the location. Can you bring the Zamboni when you come? I'll bring the Zamboner. I'm going to chop down the trees in the way. I think this is going to be the lowest. Um, My cousin gave me the Zamboner. The Zamboner. The you know, there was that, you see that, father. you see that commercial on Twitch? Or uh, for, I can't remember what it is, some delivery service. And they're like, we're going to deliver this in the most Canadian way possible. And then they show a guy driving like a Zamboni down the street. And I'm like, hey, listen, that's us. I'm like, listen, man, okay? Just because we like, also I took built that a personally. Zamboni doesn't mean it's just a Canadian thing. Oh, man. There's also, I saw this video the other day of uh, a guy in Nova Scotia driving his Sea Dew down like a road. And I'm like, yeah, yep. that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it's been a. Like, I. I actually like know of the first guy that did that, or at least the first guy to have gone viral to do that, and it seems yeah, like it's a craze ever since to like convert scooters to. Like, well, the only thing stopping a ski doo from like like a snowmobile from driving in the road is you just need a cooling system, like. You know, most and, snowmobiles and, are just air cooled, and because and it's the always wheels, I think wheels would help. I don't think the power. Although you can buy impeller is, uh... <laughs> you can buy skis that have these fold down wheels that go onto them for when like. Oh, sorry, we're talking about like snowmobiles. Yeah, snowmobiles. Yeah, I, I so... think I said sea doo, but I meant to say ski doo. Right, because I'm I'm talking about like jet skis. Yo, know, yeah, yeah, no, I saw that too. The guys <laughs> make jet skis into scooters or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, like, with snowmobiles, there was this video of literally a guy, like, just snowmobile, full revs, skis on, like, across a dirt road. Honestly, like, and... man, it's, like, one of my, one of my life goals to have a snowstorm bad enough here that I can justify getting a jet ski, uh, sorry, a, a snowmobile, a ski do, a snowmobile, and, uh, 
just ripping around on the roads. That'd be so much fun. Yeah, I mean, they're they're not bad. They just got the, the problem with the roads is they wear down the the carbides on the skis, right? Who cares, the, man? Who cares? Yolo. Life yeah. ain't a game, you know. Yeah, fair. Well, you can buy plastic guards too, and then you buy these wheel kits that snap onto the front, and they like prevent yep. the skis from getting wrecked. I mean, let's be real. We can like between the two of us, we can probably come up with like a skateboard wheel system that we can. No, build. they have that. It goes in between the skis. It's freaking awesome. I said we're building it ourselves. Okay, we can build it ourselves. I'm just saying. <laughs> stuff exists. Why are we doing this? Why are we <laughs> knocking down trees? This is the path. I'm gonna go right right by this rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like the spot where I found the lowest like stretch of land. Oh, lowest elevation, yeah. Lowest Perfect. elevation. So we go right next to this rock. Delta. Yeah, lowest delta oh. V. No, delta H. <laughs> delta v. The potential energy is gonna be MGH, right? So we just gotta we just gotta get that. There you go. Overcome. But we gain the Problem potential energy solved. back, so you know. So, do we need more trees cut down? It looks like there's probably another one back there that could use uh, choppy choppy. I want it as low as possible, so we need the minimum amount of pistons to lift it up to the height we need. But we need it high enough that we can drive vehicles underneath it. Also and, true. Yes. And the bots won't hit it. But I think this that will actually smart. be good. I think that's good. That looks high enough. And then we just gotta see where this gotta... ends up in the water. You got some uh, cracked stone I can Yeah, work with? here. Here, champ. Here, have some of this. Thanks, pal. Here's more. Thanks, there friend. And then just go in the opposite direction. And I guess we just go straight for now. Holy cow. <laughs> this is tall. Oh, boy. I mean, the good news is the water is at the same height on both sides. Um, water and scrap mechanic is a constant height. Right. So, so lowering it is not going to be an issue. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like water lowering it back in constant height oh, no. anyway. At least in the tile builder, when you enable water, you don't get to choose the height of the water. It's just like water enabled, yes or no, and then it puts a right. water line at a specific at like ground level, basically. So I'm pretty sure survival is the same way. Water level, right? <laughs> Remember, you got to give yourself enough distance because the the carriage is going to be inside the u right right so you got to go out far enough into the water so that the carriage still has water below it when you of course yeah if that makes any sense i gotta that get up sense. on this rail i think i mean the boat is like right on the surface right yeah, yeah, yeah my main concern is not so much the depth of the water just making sure we're far enough out so that the bots don't feel like going and chomping on the pillar okay that's only that's like really where it's at as long like because the boat can really i mean honestly it could drive up onto shore you know like yep all righty i got my pillar uh i'm connected on this side all right i'm connected on this side excellent i'll come to your side and see what's up okay oh look nighttime is it actually yeah sweet perfect time to build a second pillar exactly for a second <laughs> thing all right, Cosmo, it's daytime. I'm coming back. I got some materials on the boat. Sounds good. Oh, my God. You said we had no bearings? I'm an idiot. All the <laughs> bearings are in the stupid boat. Oh, wow. There's two chests <laughs> on the boat. We even have, like, tons of gas in here, too. We ran out of gas. It's literally full of gas. Oh, my oh, God. Man. I forgot. About yeah, there's, like, like eight bearings in here. Another well, two. That's what happens when you have a scattered inventory. Yeah, there's also, like, a bajillion bubble are blocks. Are you coming? You're in a fast boat, and you're, like, not, Oh, yeah, sorry. Our moving. extra level five thruster is there, too. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so here's, here's what we've got. We've got the rail. Yep. Got the rail, the double rail. Double rail here. Um, and then it goes all the way across into the other ocean. And what you guys will notice, we actually change them up because mm. long rails in Scrap Mechanic have weird bouncy physics. That um, they do. But if we alternate them, wood, concrete, wood, well, wood, stone, wood, stone, wood, stone, the yeah, bouncy... Yeah, so it only has to calculate the individual sections. Yeah, it calculates each individual section, it seems, and the yep. bouncy physics goes away. So That's right. It actually kind of works. Mm -hmm. um, so now we have to figure out how to build a thingy. <laughs> that's right um well we know the well, rails are guess... 20 wide so let's just build it here and then raise it up after okay sounds good that's how i set my monorail in action so yeah so, might as well so 20 wide so that's like this there you go so then we just need wheels done done Mount it up. just put some put some <laughs> wheels on there bro okay rollers are on center okay. point with the pistons the piston Pistons? Les pistons? You have the pistons? My name is Jack, and I have Les Pistons. 
Um, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Pistons. Uh, we're gonna need at least two, two stacks. Oh yeah. Oh show. So. Did you bring the component kits or no? Yeah, I did. All right, there you go. Throw some upgrades in those bad boys. Okay, that one's Make maxed. Sure you can upgrade the other one. Only to four. We need two component kits. I told you to. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Are there any in the boat? There might be some in the boat. None in the. Oh yeah. Nope. All right, let's go kill something. We'll no, let's no, go no, get two component up. kits. We'll be fine. Oh, sounds good. We might need more <laughs> if the pistons aren't long enough. Well, uh, we might yeah, have. Some... Be. Yeah, I hope so. That's thirty blocks, right? So. I don't know. It might be enough. If not, we'll need another set, and then we'll have to... Or we have to steal them blocks. from somewhere. We've quite literally stripped the helicopter down. There's no landing gear on it. I know, right? There's Poor no thing. thrusters on it. Um, we need component harvesting. Yeah, we need to get component harvesting for sure. We need to just spend, like, three hours doing nothing but grinding component kits. We need three more level 5 thrusters, because we have one extra still. So we need three That's more, right. and we need the two pistons level 3, I think, or level 2 to do the landing gear oh boy we had level fives on there that's why i stole them and we don't need level fives we only have them extending like a little bit but that's right i think we can even use the standard ones probably because they're what seven eight i don't know what the default is i feel like it's pretty long though fair oh nice i got a green uh green box i'm killing hay bots. um cool cool i don't uh there we go oh i got a green box here too Nice. Nothing, nothing. Wow. Of course, when you need component kits, they don't drop them. It's ridiculous. All right, let's see what we got in here. Nothing. All right, so hear me out, right? Yep. Scrap yep. mechanic is actually just a social experiment. So okay. the entire game doesn't really exist as a game. They're oh just boy. trying to figure out uh, how like much grinding they can get away with and <laughs> players still play it. You know what I mean? <laughs> And the component kits is the ultimate test. Whenever you get a component kit, it actually yep. sends data to Axelot so they can collect statistics like component kits gathered per hour and hey, you man. Know, things I like think that. The game caught on to your. Uh, I think the game caught on to you because I literally just got two in a row. <laughs> yeah, now they're they're like, shoot, they know we got to start yeah, giving them like, component crap, kits. We got to stop this. We got to stop. <laughs> oh man. All right, dude. Upgraded. Upgrade. Perfect. Nice. Let's do Maximum uh let's range. just do a test. Let's just bring this across. Something like that. Um do you want to set all the settings on those to be like, you know, 15 whatever? I'm trying to, but it's doing a stupid multiplayer glitch. Ah, yes, the multiplayer. So, do you just do it cuz it's going to annoy me? Yeah, where it's like it jumps up and then it jumps back. <laughs> it no, you got you like... got the one. Oh, it didn't register on my screen, but okay. I love how you set it to super fast too. I feel like that's That's gonna... the thing. I didn't. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah. All right, so we have to somehow get this do, up do, onto that. Do we have a switch? Uh, yeah, I have switches. There are switches in the boat. Okay. The boat uh, seems just... to have more inventory than our base, by the way, for some reason. It's just, <laughs> it just never stops giving. Oh, we need a seat. We need a driver's seat. Oh, boy. Do you have a driver's seat? Wait, why do we need a driver's seat? Because we need to go forward and backwards on the electric engine. True. Or we have to double bearing everything, which is a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, let's not do that. No, so we need a driver's seat. Be right back. You're gonna come. Okay. It's about to be nighttime anyway, so I'm just gonna get this up on the rail throughout the extremely long night, and then uh, okay. we'll, we'll do a good. test right in the morning and see what happens. Sounds good. All right, Cosmo, I see you coming back. I'm coming. He's coming with the Zamp buddy. What? You have a, just a garment box on the front? Just. Yeah, it's chilling. All right, so check it out. I got nice, the nice. frame up on the rail. We got some wheels. We got a seat. We got perfect, perfect. power. We got this. Drop the chalupa. Nice. So let's go all... Did you say drop the chalupa? Yeah. What's a chalupa? <laughs> you don't remember those Taco Bell commercials from like the early 2000s? No. Is a chalupa a type of like taco? I think so. And they just had like a chihuahua that... Dropped a chalupa? Was... Yeah. I don't think I don't this know, is man. I think we're gonna need more pistons, bro. We got more pistons. Oh, oh, maybe no. You know what? That's gonna actually push me. Up. Never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Need, we definitely need more pistons. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Let's see. Here we go. We're over water now. Yep. Okay. How far Water'd down do we in. get? Okay. One more piston. I need to go back to the middle. Ah. Because we gotta weld the two sides across again. What do you mean? 
Like we gotta connect the two sides of this of this system, and you can't do that unless it's on a lift. And we gotta put this yeah, thing yeah, back sure. on the rail in the middle of the map. So we're gonna go back over here. Uh, in the meantime, can you get a logic gate? Yeah, man. Let me just let me just run all the errands. Uh, and then um maybe some then, pass um, passenger um, seats mm, so we can uh, build the pillar of mm, passenger seats. Uh, eh. uh. Okay. Can you also be a dingus? Um, just. Just make sure you're a big... I already checked that box off. Big dingus. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually perfect. Wow, bro! <laughs> you can't Nailed do that. It. If you do that, you knock the gondola off the rails. Oh no! I gotta... Man, I didn't even think of that. Like, I don't want to have to build a... Man, we're screwed. God dang it. <laughs> gotta go all the way back. Oh <laughs> man, I was like, oh, I was, I was so good. This is no, but this is good. This is like, like we're testing all the potential things that could go wrong. Yeah, what happens if a guy drives in at full speed with the boat? There you go. Now we know it goes off the rails. But I, what do we get? <laughs> do, like, I'm gonna have to build a, a rail lock system underneath it. Like, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> could you just drive slower? Maybe is that possible? <laughs> like, I mean, I could try. Ah, oh, dang it. I literally just drove it over. It's not even that fast. Like, I just drove over here. <laughs> it's a slow creation, oh, man. No. And there's only one spot you can put it up, which is in the middle, where it's, like, short <laughs> track. <laughs> this is, uh, this is such well, a... get her done. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'll get... It's off my lift. Um, I... When you have adversity... No, this is not a lesson. To, no, this is not <laughs> yeah. some learning experience. Of course it is. There it's you not, go, It's not a learning experience. See? Now you learned a new thing. <laughs> this is... All right, is it fully... It's fully extended? Is it in the water? Deep enough? Um, no, it's literally one block in the water. Right, so it needs to go down more. So upgrade this. And then upgrade this. It honestly needs to go down... Another set. Do you have? We need literally two more component kits. Oh my goodness! Literally two. If we have two, we can we can solve uh... this problem. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that was a pretty fruitful uh, building. I got six component kits. So coming back. Alrighty, bro. Hello. You know what this reminds me of? What's it remind you of? Like a deep fryer basket. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. Well, take it slow it this works? time. Yeah, nice I'll and slow. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Just, just line it up straight. Go yep. slow. Does it, does it get on? Oh yeah. I don't know yet. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. There you're we above go. it. Yeah. Hey, okay. Lift me up. Look oh. at that. Oh, is it? Can it lift? Can it? Can it? Oh no. We have to increase the speed. Hold on. But it's like hecka lagging too. Oh my goodness, what is going on? If I, hold on, I just gotta increase the speed. The, the speed and power are linked on pistons, so like the more speed right. you give them, the more power they have, which is unfortunate, because like, I'd like slow pistons, but see, now they're right. like no problem. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I wouldn't say no problem, but... <laughs> there we go. I think the Dude, lag is because so you have laggy. a flat boat hull. Hmm. We almost need okay, like a, well... a different, like a different grill setup you know what i mean like it's it's yeah a f oh, oh god boy. oh boy Wait, how fast yeah, it drops <laughs> yeah <laughs> what if i do this what if i this might be a little crazy what if we do crazy. something like that okay oh dude much better yeah that's a lot better heck yeah dude i love that <laughs> all right let's go I'm cruising over that's awesome <laughs> this is great this is pretty look how high up it is yeah. This is fantastic. This is awesome. <laughs> Screw you, Haybots. Get All out of right. here. This is wicked. Oh. Oh, there's a speaking of Haybots. Look at that. Look at him down below. Look at him. What a pleb. What Where a pleb. He? Straight ahead. Right oh, under. He Look at, here he comes. Here he comes. What are you going to do, buddy? What, what are you going to do? do? What are you going to do? Arr, he's he's arr. chasing us. <laughs> he's threatening us with his pitchfork. <laughs> Get off my lawn, kids. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, this is great. This is super this consistent. Is so good. Smooth. It is a little laggy with the boat on the thing, but... That's okay. Another hay bot and a tote bot. Oh, boy. Got all the local wildlife here. This is a little bit less okay. No, that's fine. 
Are you putting lights on it? Yeah, because what if we're doing like night portaging? But but we need those lights for, our, I guess we'll have to find more lights. I stole these lights specifically for this build. Oh, did you? Yes. Okay. Because we need more <laughs> of those lights for our base. Uh, dude, we have a collection I know, they're below just us. like... <laughs> We got it. We might want to. You, you want to shoot them or something, or just? Nah, I want to see how many we can get. Got to catch them all, you know. <laughs> well, there's. I feel like they're the only three. All right, all right. Just I'll kill the top bot. The hay bots don't. Oh care no! Oh no! I'm so dead. I'm <laughs> so dead now. I need help. I need help. Oh, you're fine. Look, he yeeted you into the water. You'll be okay. Oh boy. Look, I'll save you now. Save myself. No thanks to you. <laughs> Oh, what? I fa Dude, I fired a shot underwater somehow. Sure and, like, wasn't it wasn't your guardian muffled. angel up here taking the shots? That... No, it was like muffled. My oh, shot was weird. muffled and it actually fired underwater. So there's only one issue I have with this monorail. Check. Yeah, which, which is what? Like, oh, that? <laughs> when you put the pistons down, it kind of like jumps, but I think I can solve it with just like a little bit of wood hanging under the rails. What are you doing? What are you doing? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Put in the peat. Put in the what? Can you bring me up, please? This guy. This is, it's, it's, it's so hard building on a monorail. It really is. And like, there's it no, is. oh, I wow. fell through the cracks. Wow. There's cracks in the thing. <laughs> All right, perfect. And then this one. All right. Final piece. There we go. Okay, perfect. Cool. So now, now if you lower it. Yeah, see, it catches and it doesn't... Much better, yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Cool. We have a boat awesome. carriage. We do. Here. And it works. <laughs> and we can actually bring our boat. <laughs> the boat, like, right. lifts off of it when it <laughs> when yeah. it goes down. Here, this... why don't, you, uh, oh, why don't like... you turn it around and load it up, load it back up again? Let's see if it... See, I mean, it should be fine, right? It should be the same thing. Oh, yeah. Load I it up. I so. Bring... Oh, I went too far... There's no reverse on this boat. There's no reverse. I, I took off the reverse, so... No, you gotta go the other way, man. You... <laughs> They're just spinning through the pistons. There we go. Good enough. Yep. Back we go. Whee! This is awesome. This is great, dude. This is the coolest thing we've <laughs> built so far. Yeah, I love it. It's so great, too, because none of the guys down below can affect you. It's just... And it's smooth. It doesn't have the bouncing rail issue because we did the interlocking stuff. Yeah, totally. It actually is just like a smooth ride all the way Super across. Super smooth, and yeah. Wow. We could speed it up a bit, but it's not even that bad, to be honest. Can as slow try? as it you is. Can try while I'm in here. What? I can speed it up while you're driving, sure. Yeah. Boom. Look at I that. tried it at the faster speed before. See, this is about as fast as I think it should, like, you could go. That's good, though. Yeah, this isn't that bad either, actually, to be honest. Oh, this is nice. This is great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> just lean the boat forward a little bit. I was gonna say, <laughs> careful, don't uh, yeet yourself off. This is actually yeah. like really cool. I know. It's it's such a cool. <laughs> we barely missed that tree. Yeah, that's awesome. Works and then really we just well. slam the boat back into the water here. Yep. Let's go. Stop. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Bye. That's so cool. So now wow. we lift that up. Yeah. yeah, and then you lift that up and you can leave it up there. Whee! Then hop in the boat. Nice. Dude, this oh is boy. awesome. Oh boy, you're this running is, me over. This is actually awesome. All right, let's Sweet. do let's do a full run. Let's do a full full run here. I just want to do okay, one full good. run. We're gonna yep. see like from here from the base. We leave the base, go over the thingy, and then <laughs> get a plant a building or whatever not a plant i don't yes, know why no. i thought a plant, plant. <laughs> i was gonna say plantation and i'm like there's no plantations in scrap again <laughs> where's your mind at <laughs> i was playing hunt showdown the other day and there's like right. this new map with the plantation on it and that's what i was Fair thinking enough. of and it's just like it's a game about cowboys and shooting each other mm -hmm. anyway all right pastor right, hops out has to yep. take a little swim or not what do you mean you got into this chair. Okay, perfect. Right. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Bring the boat onto the boat carriage. Perfect. Bring the and boat up. Go. And off we go. <laughs> Not even fully up. You're just going. <laughs> hey, man. Time's a wasting. This is sick. This is awesome. Then we ride the monorail. Or not monorail. The double rail. The rail. Just, <laughs> just rail. 
track. Let's call the track. Dude, this is like the perfect height too. Like it just misses the rock. It's still high mm -hmm. enough here where it won't like interfere with anything. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, and then we get here. Yep. And this boat is just so much more fuel efficient than what we had before. It really right. is. Yeah, I haven't really experienced any sort of, uh, you know, crazy fuel consumption on it. So. No, it's really geez, the drop. <laughs> okay. All right, leave that like... down. Right. Because we're coming back. Leave it down yeah, and then enough. hop in the, hop in the boat. Let's go. <laughs> and here we go. I love that. That's go so off good. on an adventure. Yep. That's excellent. Well, that was good. I got uh, I got actually 11 gas and like eight component kits out of that. Dude, 11 gas is, is key. That's what we need. Seriously. All right, let's hop back in the boat. Let's go. Here, I'll let you exercise your amazing driving skills. All right, all right. Oh my goodness, the other one just got red. <laughs> yeah, like instantly. It's okay, instantly. we're gonna make it. It'll be fine, I believe. It's just right in this inlet here. Trying to, yeah, I'm trying to like spot it so I don't waste too much gas maneuvering it's, around. It's, I think it's left more. A little little left more, yeah. It's like in the inlet, like all the way all right. in the inlet, see? We'll be okay, we'll be okay. I think we'll make it. We might not make it. Pretty sure I told you that. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm like sprinting to keep up. Look at this, I'm like floating. See me floating? Out of fuel. Oh, out Otherwise. of gas. Okay, you got Come half on. the thrusters to up. Oh. Come on. Are you out of gas on the half? No. I don't left, even see where left, the It's left. Is. It's way left. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. It's left. It's like straight ahead. <laughs> well, this is us now. <laughs> this is us now. All right. All right. Turn it left. Oh, like a little more right. Aim straight at the tree sign, basically. All right. Let's go. Come on, double hammer power. We can do this. I'm not doing this. We can do this. <laughs> we can do it. We're a little stranded. <laughs> a little stranded. It's fine. Our boat only slightly sinks. It's only... It's okay. Yeah, no it's big only, deal. It's only slightly sunk. Well, I guess let us know what you guys think in the comments down below of the ultimate boat lift system. That's right. I probably, think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think it's great. We should probably check the gas that we had before we... Before we adventured yeah, off. Somebody but. got a little ambitious. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Let's just like spin our way back home. I don't, I don't think this, I don't think this works. <laughs> but anyway, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. And of course, uh, you know, give us other ideas for survival things to try. Yep, and like, subscribe. We'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye. We're going to keep doing this. We got to get home somehow. Right.